Hi everyone, Sam is David here. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. We're going to give an inspirational word which I, I really think is going to inspire some, some of you really strongly. And then we have a some music. <laughs> yeah, I think God really wants to, to bless some of you who are facing like a war. Um, there's a there's a battle front that that has and lines have been drawn, and you're on one side and your enemy w in whatever form they are is on the other side, and <coughs> I think I want you to take some lessons from David and Goliath, First uh, Samuel, um, chapter seventeen. It's an in interesting chapter, and we've heard the story of David and the, and the giant and. Um, Goliath, th this huge man who came out to represent the Philistines and David came out <coughs> and um, the si situation was they said if you Israelites choose a man and we have our champion here and whoever wins we will serve the, will serve the uh, victor and um, I, I don't know what type of battle you are are facing it. I don't know what type of lines have been drawn. I don't know what the consequences are. Um, but in this type of a battle, it, it it is big. So this is this isn't just a small thing. So some of you are, f are facing really heavy stuff, and God wants you to listen to what David said before he engaged in in the battle. Now David was confident, not in his fighting skills. He was just a youth. He he didn't have a sword. He he didn't know warfare. Um, but he knew his God and he had had small wins. And that's what we all have. We have God and we've had small wins. Everybody, however long you've, you've been serving God, you know of the time when, and it wasn't by your doing or anything, but you know that you called on the name of the Lord and he brought you through. Everybody has that. So y we've all got the small wins. So the thing is, when God has uh, set you up or the, the circumstances have so happened that you are now facing a much bigger battle, you need to listen to some of these things David said. So David said to the Philistine, you come to me with sword and with spear and with javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. So right off, David is not ashamed to say, uh, I'm coming in the name of my God. Now, if if the battle is not something that God has set you up in, all right, if this is something you have brought on yourself, please. Proverbs says, wi wipe your mouth, nose, whatever. Say your sorries or whatever and ex excuse yourself. However, if this is something that clearly li lines are drawn and God's name is at stake, and your your integrity and everything you stand for and God has got you there, then he is going to support you. And this so David says, You come to me with spear and sword and javelin, I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, uh, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. So the enemy is defying not just you, but your God and what you stand for and what he stands for. So David says to him straight up, this day the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you and take your head from you. I mean, David is saying this before the battle. He's, he's looking at a, what, six, seven foot tall, you know, giant man of war um, who, who has a shield bearer before him. And David has no spear, no nothing. Um, and, and then later on in, in the chapter, he goes and picks up his stones. And so he has his stones and a slingshot, which he knows works for him in any type of a fighting type of a thing. But then li listen to, to what David says at the end here. He says, he's, he's going to take his head from you, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear. The Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's. He will give you into our hands. So we have to get to the point where 
It's not our ability. It's not our skillfulness. It's, it's not our fighting ability. It is the Lord. The battle is the Lord's and he is going to win. Now, if you're not confident in that position yet, get there. Get there. Surrender to God and be sure that he has called you to this battle. And then once you know that God has called this, he is with me, he's not going to let me down. And so some, some of you are there now and, and, and you're facing battle lines and so on. And so you just need to, kn to know it is not in your strength. The Lord does not save with sword and spear. Many times we face people who are much more um, intelligent, skillful, um, battle trained. They know this thing inside out and God has just got us there, but God is telling us the victory is ours and he will give us the victory. And then I, w I, I won't spoil it for, for you. You read the rest of the, of the story. I, I, it, it'll, it'll be fresh all over. But David went and got his uh, smooth stones, and I've actually been to the to the area um, where they think it all took 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 place, and and the little creek is there. And I went and got my little stones, and <laughs> I'm going to keep these, you know, <laughs> for David's sake. But um, God will give you a very big victory if you trust in Him fully, and you're not ashamed of Him, okay? And He will get the glory. All of those things have to line up. So I just want to encourage you today. You, you are not there in vain. You, you are not going to lose. Uh, stay under the shield of God's wing. Um, don't, don't go out and be spewing out, you know, curses and, and, and words that, that God ha hasn't given you. David said straight, you know, you come with spare sword, javelin. I come to you in the name of the Lord. And so that's what we need to, to do. In the name of the Lord. Our victory comes in the name. Some will come with spear and sword. But we come in the name of the Lord. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Jesus, you've won the victory. trust in you Jesus we look to you we hide behind the cross be glorified be glorified we say and what we do be glorified oh be glorified be glorified in what we say and what we do in the victory which you will win In the victory, God, you have prepared again. Be glorified. Be glorified, oh God, be glorified in Jesus' name. Be victorious today. Go forth in the name of the Lord.